Welcome back. Today we're talking about dating and men, and in this segment we're going to answer some of your questions. Okay, this is actually a great question since all the conversations that we've been having in our other segments, but how has your perspective of men changed since leaving the business and all along your recovery journey? It's, it's changed significantly. I feel like, first of all, a lot of healing has happened for me being a part of the church that I'm at with um, Philip and Holly Wagner. And Philip Wagner has such a father's heart mm -hmm. that I feel like his heart um, as a man and the way he communicates value to women and the way he loves and values his wife, Holly, has brought a lot of healing to me. But then also, too, and, and seeing men volunteer at Treasures with no, wanting nothing in return and giving and serving when nobody's looking, but then also watching even your process, you with Cody and you with um, your fiance, um, and the way they've honored you mm -hmm. and the way they've, they've pursued you and the way, even in the midst of that, I feel like really guarded and protected your heart. It's really, um, one, it's brought a lot of healing to me to see that, but then it's also, um, help me see what's possible and um, it's just been so beautiful. It's been very healing. So thank you to both of your, your gentlemen mm -hmm. for being so honoring and wonderful. I can say yes to that from across the globe and what I've known mm -hmm. of both of you over the years. It's refreshing mm -hmm. yeah. and, it, and it restores my faith. It's like, you know what, Bronwyn, you are, you're worthy of pursuit. You know, like, you know, Harmony, we're worthy of pursuit That's and right. how exciting. Yeah. that we have a future that involves that. And, and again, yeah, I want to say thank you to both of you for, for revealing what that looks like and, and strong women in your own right. Yeah. And, and so are we. Yeah. So knowing that, that God, you know, there's a, there's a C.S. Lewis quote, you know, a woman should be so lost in God that a man needs to seek him to find her. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm in. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And then just like, I, even with you when you guys were dating, I remember you often would say to me, even if we don't end up getting married, I will be better off for having spent this time with him. And I feel like that just speaks um, so beautifully to the process that he walked you through. And then even just in your scenario with, you know, the first what year you guys spoke on Skype, you, they didn't even use the video function because he wanted to get to know her heart and who she was as a person mm -hmm. outside of how gorgeous and beautiful she is. And so just how they've honored you. Well, I never thought that I would be the girl that would get that kind of guy, you know? Like it's still, I still get emotional about it because it's just overwhelming, like this love like um, that I feel from him. And like I look at my ring and I'm like, this is the most precious, beautiful gift any man has ever given me. Mm -hmm. And it's so, I just cherish, cherish him and cherish our relationship. And um, yeah, he's just done nothing but honor me and love me just how I am. Yeah. And I, and I think, too, the thing is about both of you is you guys are strong women walking yeah. in your purpose, and you are whole, and you are healthy, and you're on a journey. We're not perfect. Of course. But I feel like because of that, you've been able to arrive in this kind of relationship. Mm -hmm. um, I'm starting to feel like I'm taking over the role of host here. <laughs> Ashley, would you like to change seats? <laughs> I just think also it's important for our viewers to know not only are we worthy as women, of a pursuit, but that there are amazing men mm. in this world. Absolutely. There are so many healthy men who honor women and who value themselves enough to value women. Yeah. And so to me, that's really important for our viewers to know that these men exist. Like it's not some far off fantasy. They're not perfect. My husband is not perfect, but he's not, you know, he's not a knight in shining armor swooping me off my feet, but he's healthy and he's loving and he loves God and he loves me, you know, and yeah. people need to know that. Yeah, and okay, another question from our viewer. So will a, any man ever want me again after what I've done? And I have a jacked up past, so I relate to this question. Uh, what do you guys think about that? I think, you know, the four of us sitting here are a, a visual example of tangible redemption. Absolutely. You know, that redemption is possible. Um, you guys, for us, have been a great example of what redeeming love looks like. And, and that it is possible, mm -hmm. you know, but it, it, it also means that you need to al allow yourself. Again, go back to what we've talked about through the other episodes. Be vulnerable, be authentic, be real, be trusting, be the safe person. Mm -hmm. You know, be the woman who, who believes that God is the date maker. Mm -hmm. You know, he is the matchmaker and he has someone somewhere and not be looking for it, you know? Be lost in your cause, be lost in your purpose, yeah. but also find out more about who you are. Yeah, yeah. You know, my last couple of year journey particularly is I wanna be the strongest and the sweetest version of me Love that I possibly that. can be, not for anybody else, for me, yeah. you know? That's awesome. 
And the thing is, is that I, I believe with my whole heart that I have been redeemed and that God's grace is enough for me. Mm -hmm. And the kind of man who would date me would be a man who believes in a God who redeems right. and believes in a God who has grace and gives second chances. And so, um, and that's the kind of person that I would want to be with anyways. And awesome. Yeah, and I think one thing we've learned today is just that our past is not defined our future and who we once were is not who we have to determine to be. And so I, we want to thank you guys for tuning into X Girls and we'll see you next time. <laughs>